Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Understand the greenhouse effect. So what happens here is the solar radiation reaches the outer atmosphere. When the solar radiation, let us suppose it is coming from the sun. So this solar radiation, when it tries to enter inside the earth, it has to first cross the atmosphere. So this layer which you see here, that is atmosphere. Now, solar radiation, when it reaches the outer atmosphere, a part of it gets reflected by the gases and the clouds which are present in the atmosphere. Some part also gets absorbed by the gases or the clouds, but more than 50% of it will reach the Earth's surface. So, this radiation which comes in, more than 50%, almost 70% in fact, will reach inside the Earth and it will go to the surface, land, ocean, etc. So, when these different substances like the surface, land, ocean, when they receive the radiation, they get heated up. When they heat up, they will release infrared radiation. So they are going to release infrared radiation. Now the earth's surface will re-emit the infrared radiation, but not all of it will be able to escape to the space. So you see only some of it is able to escape to the space. Why? Because most of it is contained in the atmosphere. Why is it contained? Because these most of the infrared radiation is absorbed by the gases which are present in the atmosphere and these gases are called the greenhouse gases. Now mostly the greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane. So all the methane and carbon dioxide which is present in the atmosphere, they help to trap or absorb the infrared radiation. So as a result what happens? The infrared radiation remained within the earth. So this infrared radiation will thus heat up the earth's surface and as a result the cycle will repeat. Now as the earth's surface gets heated up, again it will emit infrared radiation. Again some part of it will escape to the space and some part will be absorbed by the greenhouse gases. And this process will continue until no infrared radiation is left over to emit. So as a result of this entire process, what happened? Infrared radiation remained trapped within the earth and as a result, it increased the overall temperature of the earth, which was necessary for the survival of living organisms. So that is the concept of greenhouse effect. So this is a natural phenomenon. So it is, you cannot make greenhouse effect occur artificially. It just happens on its own. And it happens due to the presence of these greenhouse gases that is carbon dioxide and methane in the atmosphere. Now, if these gases do not exist in the atmosphere, then greenhouse effect will not take place because there will be nobody to absorb the infrared radiation. It is responsible for heating the earth and the atmosphere because it, at the end of this process, a lot of infrared radiation get trapped within the earth, which increases the temperature of the earth. So overall temperature of the earth increases. Important greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane. So these are the important greenhouse gases. Now here, an important thing to note is that the entire effect happens due to the presence of these two gases in the atmosphere. So a lot of changes can happen due to abnormal concentration of these gases. If the concentration of carbon dioxide or methane increases too much in the atmosphere, in that case the greenhouse effect will become very strong. So the temperature of the earth will increase too much. Again, that is also not good because we need to maintain the appropriate temperature. Again, if these greenhouse gases are not at all there, in that case, there will be nobody to absorb the infrared radiation. So the temperature of the earth will be very cold. So in order to maintain the right temperature of the earth, these greenhouse gases should be present in the right amount in the atmosphere. Now the question is, okay, we understood what is greenhouse effect and uh, how it helps us and it increases the temperature of the earth. But why is it called greenhouse effect? It has nothing to do with green or house. So why is it named as greenhouse effect? Now the word greenhouse, do you know what is a greenhouse? So greenhouse is a glass house where plants are grown. Now during winters when a uh, lot of sunlight is not available to the plants because you know green plants need a lot of sunlight to perform photosynthesis which is essential for their growth. Now during some season like winter season, not a lot of sunlight is made available to the plants. Therefore the growth of the plants are not that good. 
So at the, in, during those times, what is done is the plants are grown inside a glass house. And how does that help? Now this glass house has a property that when radiation of the sun or the rays of the sun fall on the glass, it allows it to enter inside, but it doesn't allow it to come back. So it doesn't allow it to come back from inside. It only allows the solar radiation to enter inside the box. So as a result, what happens inside the glass box, a lot of heat gets trapped. So due to the presence of this heat, the plants will be able to utilize the solar energy and they will be able to perform photosynthesis. Now in this glass house, there are provision to control the temperature, light, shade, uh, in fact irrigation, humidity, everything can be controlled. There are systems which are provided in the greenhouse so that the plant can grow in a better way. So this technique is followed mostly du during winters. Now, a greenhouse can be very small in size, it can be huge as well, like in, in industries, very big greenhouse are being used for uh, cultivation of crops or for growing plants on a large scale or an, on an industrial scale. So now you understand how it relates to the greenhouse effect. So here also the radiations are allowed to enter inside but they are not allowed to reflect it back. So basically they are trapped inside and that's how the temperature inside is increased. The same thing happens in greenhouse effect also. A similar example would be your car. So if you park your car in sun with all the doors and windows closed, what happens? After you come back, maybe after an hour, what happens when you sit inside your car, you feel it, it's like boiling hot inside the car. Why? That's because the solar radiation, they are allowed to enter inside through these glasses, but they are not allowed to come out of it. So in a way, the solar radiation gets trapped inside the car. So and this solar radiation heats up the, the seats and the chairs and the objects present inside the car. So they again emit infrared radiation and as a result, the infrared radiation gets trapped inside the car. And this heats up the interior of the car. So the same thing happens in case of greenhouse effect. So here also the solar radiation is allowed to enter inside. So almost 70% of the solar radiation enters inside. It heats up the land, the oceans, surface of the earth. But when it tries to, then when the infrared radiation tries to go out, not all of it is allowed to escape. Only some heat will escape and most of it will be absorbed by the greenhouse gases and that's how the temperature of the earth will increase. So due to this correlation, this phenomenon was named as the greenhouse effect and that is why the gases were called the greenhouse gases. So now we saw that. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.